So today I just thought I would uh, share with you uh, a bed level indicator that I printed and added to the Cobra Go. And uh, I'm just going to show you that it actually, it fits perfectly in between the reel and the, uh, the frame of the printer. And I'm going to give you a demonstration of that working from over the top. It makes it really visual and easy to see that your auto bed leveling is working uh, no matter what. So I'm just going to take a moment and I'm going to remove the reel and then I'll give you a top view of this thing at work. So I've got the printer warming up for the bed leveling. I want you to keep your eye right here. This is the uh, pointer that I've added to the top of the Z-Rod so that you're really going to be able to see the emphasis on the bed leveling when it's functioning. So the first thing I'm going to do is a bed leveling. Then after that, I will do a pattern that tests the bed leveling so that you're going to be able to see that layer by layer as the print head is moving around the print bed, you're going to see this pointer move. So it'll be, it'll amplify the movements, just makes it much, much easier to see. It's a silly project, but it's fun. I originally started out by putting a painter's tape arrow on the coupling way down low, but even that was, it was small, it was difficult to see. Whereas this, with the length away from the center of the rod, it really amplifies the movement. I thought it was kind of cool and kind of fun, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So that's the bed leveling is complete and I will show you the readings from that bed leveling in uh, Pronterface. I'll just pull it up just so that you can see the, the actual readings. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, print a bed leveling pattern so that you can actually see the indicator at work as it's printing each layer. Now I'm going to put in a bed level test that I have turned on the bed leveling and I've turned off the fade. So I'm just getting it started. Every time you do a bed leveling test, it puts the Z offset to zero. And I know that mine is in the negative right now, so I'm not concerned about that, but I will have it ready in order to be able to dial it in uh, because I need about negative 1.5. You may not be able to see the filament, but that bed leveling pattern is running around the complete exterior of the frame. And as it's transitioning around, you can see my pointer moving. You saw me dialing in the Z offset the way that I like to do it, and that is I like it when it's high, I'll dial it down and I'll be pulling the strand until I feel like it is well adhered to the bed. But look at it as it moves across the bed. Look at the needle. See it moving? It's exaggerating, it's amplifying the movement. And now, as it goes forward, you're able to pick up the readings on the bed. Whenever it's turning clockwise, it's 
raising the z-axis. Whenever it's going counterclockwise, it's lowering the z-axis. Well, there's almost no contrast between that filament and the uh, the top plate, so you can barely see the fact that it's actually laying down uh, filament. So I'm not going to print the whole thing because I've already done this a bunch of times, but I thought that it might be interesting to share. It's a silly little thing. I just leave it on. It's on there all the time. I can see it. I can see that the bed leveling is working. And even when you're printing a calibration cube, which is very, very small, right at the center of the build plate, I'm able to see that it's actually running the bed leveling, even on a 20 by 20 by 20 millimeter calibration cube. Anyways, hope it helps out.